Okay, so firstly, um, I just want to talk to you a little bit of, uh, about connectivity. Um, and we call it plug and play because it literally is plug and play. Um, once upon a time in the early days of MIDI and uh, connectivity, it was, it was much harder than it is now. Just to hook up a keyboard to a computer and record something was quite an ordeal. It's very, very easy today. And it's a two-way street now. We can record things to the keyboard or we can record things from the keyboard to the computer and we're going to do both for you today. And one thing it allows us to do is connect uh, the iPod. This is not my pink iPod, I must begin by saying. Sure. This is Nicole's pink iPod. <laughs> I actually own a black iPod, but uh, unfortunately I don't have it with me, so we're using Nicole's pink iPod today. Um, I'm sure you all know what an iPod is. Um, it's, it's kind of like a miniature version of a, of a tape deck without the tapes. So on this iPod we've got a whole lot of songs. I'll actually let you choose the cold because you know I'm really bad at that. Okay. <laughs> so using uh, the stereo mini jack cable that comes with the plug and play pack, we're going to plug one end into the iPod. It's on Michael Jackson. Anybody opposed to that? All happy? All right. <laughs> we'll go with that. And we're going to plug the other end into <coughs> the back of the Casio keyboard. Well, we've got a stereo input on the back there. And the other end just into the headphone out on the iPod. It allows us to do a couple of things. Firstly, our keyboard now doubles as a little stereo system, if you like. We can actually listen to the iPod through the speakers of the keyboard. So we, have, we don't actually have to have an iPod docking station. All right, so for anybody who owns an iPod, generally you've got to buy a docking station with speakers as a separate issue. If you own a Casio keyboard, you don't need to do that anymore. You can plug it straight in. 